What's going on YouTube? Chiasno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you some of the best tweaks to install in August 2018 from Cydia. And if you have the Electra jailbreak you can install them right now. I'm going to start with the first one which is called Nougat. So if you ever wanted your iOS device to have some Android touch to it and if you wanted that touch to be on pretty much the notification center and the control center then now you can. With the Nougat tweak you can pretty much get the notification center and the action center from the Android and the Nougat tweak is available to install in Cydia. Now all these toggles in here are actually working, you can pretty much slide this one for the brightness, the battery saver will enable the low power mode, everything in here actually works. If you press the uh, gear icon down there it will bring you to the settings. So everything in here actually works pretty fine. There are three themes available, this one in here which is called Nexus, there is also the Oreo and there is also the Pixel one. So here is Pixel for reference and here is Oreo if you want to check them out. They look very good and in my opinion the Pixel one looks perfectly fine. And yes, if you want to have the um, Android notification center and the Android controls you can do that. You can also keep your iOS controls in here with no problem and you'll pretty much have two of them available and you use whatever you want to use. The next one is for the music controls in the lock screen and it's called Spin 11. Now this one is not free, this one is 0 0.99 and it's available on the repo in the description down down below. Now I will not be able to show you this one live because I'm not able to play music while I'm recording from the phone but this is how it looks like. So when you're playing music from your music application or anything else it's going to pretty much show like that. The circle is pretty much the sick bar and it will show you the progress on the song and of course you have the name of the song and the artwork which you can disable if you want. The settings are pretty bare, you don't have to do much of a thing in order to get it working. You can disable the artwork if you want but I don't see the point. Anyways, the controls in here look pretty nice if you ask me. The next one in line is low power DND or low power do not disturb and this one is actually free. So when you go ahead in here for example on your um, control center and you activate the do not disturb it will enable automatically the low power mode. So if you press here the moon icon you can see that the battery has already turned into yellow which means that my phone is currently running in the low power mode where only the important notifications and services and you know programs are currently running. That is to save the battery which is of course a good idea especially since you do not want to be disturbed so there is no point into losing a lot of battery on unimportant processes and if you're pressing here again it will disable the low power mode as well. Just a neat little tweak that will help you a lot to preserve your battery on your iPhone which we all know that batteries on the iPhone are not very very good. So I guess everything we can do to improve them. The next one in line is small Siri and this one looks very very good. It's also free and it's also available in Cydia and this one pretty much makes Siri from that big full screen interface into a small one that you can actually use. So let me show you. Hey Siri, how are you doing? As you can see it looks pretty well, it has a smaller interface and it's definitely better than that full screen type thing. As you can see it's no longer full screen but it works perfectly fine. You can still actually scroll through all these in here and still open the uh, control center and so on and Siri will stay active in there until you press the home button and it will disappear. The next one and the last one in line is size finder. So the size finder is actually very interesting. If you press and hold on an application, you know, the action you do in order to remove them, instead of the X button is going to show you how much the application is currently occupying on your phone. As you can see, 37 megs, 8 megs, 3 megs and so on. Now this is only showing up for the applications that can be removed and of course it will not show for the wallet application, the clock and so on or the applications coming from Apple that of course cannot be removed. And if you press on the label that shows how many megs the application occupies it's going to pretty much allow you to remove it. So I'm going to show you, let me remove the uh, reminders application so I press on the 3 megs and it's going to ask me if I want to remove it and if I do it's going to go away. Just a neat little trick in order to get to see which applications are consuming the most of your space. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys, I really hope you find this tweaks interesting. I really hope that you like my selection, till the next time, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm GSNow, peace out.